Hey everybody, today we're making the best ever chocolate chip cookies you've ever had. My good friend Valerie Holt, she um, said that I could uh, use her recipe and y'all, I know these are going to be delicious. Some of you may have followed Valerie, she had uh, cooking with Miss Holt, she's not um, posting right now, but I look for her to be back really, really soon. I hope she does anyway. But today we're going to make these cookies. I already made some. They are smelling up my kitchen and they're going to be delicious. So let me get out my ingredients, which you'll have everything in your pantry that you need, uh, and we'll make these cookies together. See you in a little bit. Okay, we're ready to start mixing up our cookie dough. I'm starting out with two sticks, which is one cup of melted, and this is salted butter. I put it in the microwave and melted it, and then my bowl got hot, so I let it sit and cool because I didn't think that we needed hot butter. Uh, we just want it melted. To that, I'm adding one and one-fourth cups of light brown sugar. I didn't pack this, um, but I did make sure that my uh, cup and a quarter was full. Now I'm adding one-fourth of a cup of granulated sugar, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Let me get the right one. I'm sorry, three-fourths of a teaspoon um, of salt, that's correct, <laughs> and one teaspoon of baking soda. So we're just putting that all together before we start mixing. Now we're adding one whole egg plus one egg yolk. How simple is that? You just put everything in the bowl at one time. Now we're adding one teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm using a different vanilla to what uh, Valerie used, uh, but you know, I use Miss Mert's uh, clear vanilla, and I think this will work just fine and it will be uh, delicious. So, I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, let's take our electric hand mixer and we're just going to mix these ingredients together. mixing it together so that it's all incorporated. We'll turn our bowl around as we're mixing. And I know that you probably make chocolate chip cookies a lot. Um, I make a lot of my Victorian vinegar cookies, which you've seen me make. Um, so I'm going to start making more chocolate chip cookies because I know that these are so, so delicious. And so many of my family members just dearly, dearly love these. Okay, so now we have that mixed. Now we're going to start adding our flour. Today I'm using bread flour as Valerie's recipe calls for and it's two and a fourth cups of bread flour. This is unsifted. Now, you know, I tell you that I sift all my flour unless the recipe says differently. And today, Valerie's recipe says do not sift the flour. Just use your spoon and um, measure out your flour. Don't pack it, just lightly. Um, dip it and um, measure. So that's two and a fourth cups of flour. So I'm going to finish adding the flour and when I get finished I'll be back and we'll add our chocolate chips. I finished adding the flour and mixing that into our cookie dough. This is um, somewhat thick and you want it to be and yet it's soft. So now we're going to add our chocolate chips. And I'm using the Premium Baking Mini uh, Semi-Sweet uh, Chocolate Chips. And this is a 10 ounce package. Now, Valerie said don't use your mixer for this. Um, that you just use a spoon or a spatula and you just stir in the chocolate chips. So I'm going to do that. 
if I can keep them in the bowl. You know, my food flies out of my bowl a lot. <laughs> I just have to laugh at myself. But I just clean it up and keep going. <laughs> I love the minis, as she said. It just gives you so much chocolate and it spreads it out um, in the cookie. It gives you a lot of chocolate in that good chocolate chip cookie. I can taste this with some good old milk or some coffee or, oh goodness, some water. <laughs> That'd be good too. <laughs> it surely would. Okay, so now we have that. Now we just need to scoop out our cookie dough. And she used a two tablespoon uh, scoop. She dipped hers by two tablespoons and I don't have a two tablespoon um, scoop and I'm when I get finished with this I'm gonna get on my computer and see if I can't find one and order me one so I'm gonna use a smaller scoop which that's what I use when I make most of my cookies I just make smaller cookies so what I'm going to do I'm gonna try to do this we'll see how it works I'm just gonna scoop um, Oh, it came out beautifully. Look at that. I'm going to scoop these cookies and they're going to rise and they're going to spread out. So you don't want to put them too close together if you're going to um, bake them on this sheet. But what you can do, what you need to do is to put these in the refrigerator and let them cool at least 90 minutes, 90 minutes or more. Um, the longer they cool, the better they are. Once they chill, then you can cook them, you can bake them on 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, and mine are smaller, so I'm not sure if they will need to bake that long or not. But uh, if you don't want to bake them all at one time, or if you're not ready to bake them, uh, today, if you want to make them ahead of time, you can go ahead and dip out your cookies, put them in the refrigerator, let them chill, and then place them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. And they will keep for three weeks. And then you can just take out two or three or one or a dozen or ever how many you want to bake uh, and bake them. You don't have to wait for them to thaw. So I'm going to finish dipping our cookies and I'll put them in the refrigerator, let them chill, and then I'll come back and we'll actually bake some. And uh, I'll show you how, how they look. I know that they're going to be delicious. So I'll be back after the, our cookie dough chills. Okay, I'm finished dipping our cookies and y'all, I had 60 cookies. They've been in the refrigerator for uh, over an hour and a half, and you can leave them longer um, if you want to. But I'm going to just bake a dozen of these cookies, and I'm going to put the others in a Ziploc bag and put them in my freezer so that I can have some for later. So my oven is preheated to 375 degrees, and I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and we'll watch them, and I'll come back when they're done. And I also wanted to tell you you probably noticed that I'm baking these on parchment paper. Uh, I just laid it on top of my baking pan here and um, we'll bake them on parchment paper. So in the oven they're going. Okay, our best ever chocolate chip cookies are ready to come out of the oven. Look at that, they look amazing. They've been in there 12 minutes. I took them straight out of the refrigerator, put them in a preheated oven at 375. So we'll taste them in just a minute. Okay, y'all, let's taste these cookies. I'm so ready. I can hardly wait. Just going to get me this big one right here. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, that is so delicious. You can taste the chocolate. I'm telling you, it spread throughout. And this is a soft cookie. Now, if you're looking for a thin, crispy cookie, this is not your cookie, but if you're looking for a soft, good chocolate chip cookie, chewy cookie, this is your cookie. Mmm. 
I could eat this whole dozen. I'm going to have to put them up. Otherwise, I'll eat every one of them. They are so, so good. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. I'll see you again really, really soon.